understanding of corporate social responsibility as a concept among C-suite executives in the MENA region is high. They largely understand, implement and feel positively about their company's CSR activities. Those are the findings of a regional CSR survey launched by Cicero and Bernay and 3GEM. And we're joined by the MD of Cicero and Bernay, Mr. Tarek Al Sharabi. Thanks so much for being with us today. Now, your survey finds that over 50% of respondents have a strong understanding of CSR with the UAE and Saudi leading the pack, but in other countries, the scoring is much lower. Which countries are really lagging? Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, yes, in fact, these year's results are actually in correlation with last year's results as well. This is the second uh, report that we've launched. Uh, and uh, to answer your question, the ones lagging uh, are in Egypt, uh, mainly in the GCC, uh, Kuwait, Oman, uh, and Bahrain, where in, uh, in fact, in, uh, in, in Egypt, nearly a, a, a third of the executives that we've interviewed do not understand CSR uh, at, at all. So this is uh, something that we've seen in the last couple of years recur. So your report also finds that 70% of regional C-suite managers feel that CSR is essential. I mean, uh, assuming that those are coming from the countries who practice CSR with two thirds feeling it has a very positive effect on a company's business. Does this mean that they feel that CSR actually benefits their companies financially as well? Look, I mean, they, they, there's a, they, don't, they don't feel it does that directly. However, their answers show that uh, without them knowing indirectly, it does give you an example, and only 27% of the UAE, uh, sorry, the KSA respondents and 30% of them in the GCC feel that it has a direct impact on their financials. However, they've also said that it has a uh, reduction on operational costs, uh, they get free publicity uh, and, uh, without advertising, and it increases in customer loyalty. All these three actually have a direct positive impact on their financials. So, if you actually look at the report and they look at the findings, they'll see that, yes, CSR does have a positive impact on their financials and it actually can play a role in increasing their return and their bottom line. And what impact do you think the pandemic had on regional CSR activities? Did companies increase CSR because it was perhaps needed more or did they reduce it because it was perceived or, or actually a cost too much money? It's a very good question. Um, you know, we launched this uh, just before COVID last year uh, for the 2020 report. We actually had to change the survey midway to actually include questions that, that included the impact of COVID on CSR. And this was, of course, evident again. We've asked, we've asked the same question this year. Let me just share with you some figures I have in front of me here. Um, uh, it says here that um, mi mirroring how they feel about COVID-19 having affecting their company's CSR efforts, Seven in 10 executives say that now, personally, they feel more positive about CSR as a direct result of the pandemic. Only one in 10 now feel more negative about CSR, which means that they're optimistic in change uh, about their perception. They're, they're more optimistic about their companies doing more and, and having a more impact on society uh, with, with their CSR program. Uh, this compares to seven in 10 in KSA or GGCC where they also want to actually have more CSR done because of the pandemic. However, in Egypt, just over half feel that they're compelled now to do more, but this number hopefully will change as the years pass by. Hopefully, so the pandemic actually boosted CSR activities. And, and do people in the business community really know which companies are practicing CSR? Does this make them more appealing to work for or to do business with? You know, this is actually in, also in correlation to, see it, to, to the pandemic. Uh, what we've seen as communication consultants uh, over the years uh, since the pandemic started is companies started to realize the importance of brand affinity and this came uh, with you know having to stop for instance a lot of their promotional and their sales um, activities because they had to now direct their attention to helping society raise awareness about the pandemic being more closer and engaging with society what happened with this report and i, I would like to share some numbers as well with you with regards to the company's understanding of which other companies are doing CSR. 53% of UA respondents said that they know of companies in the region that are more socially responsible, whereas in Saudi it was 39%. Uh, so uh, what's happening is in, seven, in the UAE, 76% would prefer working with socially responsible companies. And 77% in the UAE believe that CSR activities improve customer trust with brands and strengthen uh, attachment. 
The, the survey also found that employees tend to prefer working for companies that are socially responsible. 68% in UAE and 68% in KSA felt strongly about their impact of CSR activities within business uh, and how they would like to, uh, how job seekers look for these companies that are actually quite active in CSR. Would you say that in the long run, this means that the businesses you surveyed will will actually increase CSR activities or or will they keep them as they are or perhaps even reduce uh, CSR? Yes, you know, this is a, a question that we've asked as well, you know, just to see the follow through to the to the first, the previous question you asked. Two thirds of MENA companies plan to increase their CSR, CSR activities in 2022. And this is actually a bit of an increase than 2021. We, what I'm guessing happened here is that they, because of the pandemic, they've increased their CSR back in 2020. They've seen the positive impact on the brand. They've seen the engagement from their customers. And so they've in, decided to increase their plan in 2022. Uh, in fact, uh, driving this agenda are the companies in the UAE. Uh, over eight in 10 companies in the UAE plan to increase their CSR uh, practices. Again, some countries like Egypt and others in the Levant area are only 17% uh, of uh, the Egyptian respondents claim that they would do fewer actually CSR, uh, but the UAE and the KSA are leading with 83% confirming an increase uh, in, in, this, uh, in their plans for the next year and the years to come. So some countries have priorities elsewhere, obviously. And, and where are companies really focusing their CSR activities, the ones who do have active CSR programs? We've seen, as, as per the results, uh, in the UAE, there's a big focus on diversity, on inclusion, on reducing the carbon footprint. Uh, I, I actually personally see it with the clients that I'm working with. Uh, just a, a few hours ago, I was on a call with a client who who's doing a beautiful campaign to reduce carbon footprint and plastic use. Uh, in the KSA, you, you feel that it's a bit more about a charity, uh, charitable giving uh, and the GCC and KSA due to certain implications of not fully understanding the concept of CSR, but that's still a good sign there. Uh, and in, the, in, the, in other countries in the GCC, we see things like corporate uh, policies and benefits to the environment and socially environmental conscious investment also in KSA are, are seeing precedent in the CSR program. Thanks so much for your insights today. MD of Cicero and Brene Tarek Al-Sharabi, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Ramia. Have a great day.